Hello, it's Markham Motors, Jeff from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be talking about facial motion capture using Reillusion's iClone 7 and how to use multiple instances of it within Blender. So let's jump back into iClone 7 and let's have a look at some of the facial motion capture data that I captured. I agree with absolutely everything that you said. I don't, I don't like the sound of that. No. And then what we'll do is we'll import it into Blender. Now, if you want a full breakdown on how to do the facial motion capture in iClone 7 using Character Creator 3, there'll be a link in the description. So at the moment, I have three clips, the hello, the agree, and the disagree. So I'm gonna select everything and delete. I'm gonna go file, import FBX, and I'm going to start off by importing my hello clip. So let's just click import. And here we've got our character. Now I'm only gonna be concerned just about facial motion capture in this video. The body animation, we can worry about in a different video. So if you wanna see that one, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out and keeps you up to date with my content. So this is gonna be our main armature, but let's still rename some of the animation. So I'm gonna come up here into animation. Over here down the bottom left, we've got our shape key animations, um, but let's change the dope sheet to the action editor. And then we can expand all this again. And you can see that we've kind of got um, the animation for the armature. Now at the moment, there's obviously nothing on this armature. So if we kind of like scrub uh, through it, we can see that nothing moves except for a little bit of the head. For now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename this animation just so I've got reference. And I'm just gonna call this char underscore one underscore hello underscore anim. But that's not what I want to uh, really worry about in this one. This is more for the rig itself. I'm more concerned about the shape keys that are on the body. So let's go into object mode. I'm just gonna select our body, change the action editor to shape key editor. And now this is all our shape keys for controlling all the facial movements. So let, this is the more important one at the moment. So I'm gonna call this char underscore one underscore hello underscore SK for shape key. And also we need to do that on the teeth. Some uh, teeth of the tongue, on the tongue, there we go. So we'll rename this one as well to char underscore one underscore hello underscore SK underscore T. Now, because I'm gonna be using this rig here, I'm gonna select everything and hide. Now let's come back in and file, import FBX, and I'm gonna bring in our no character. So let's import that in. And then once again, we can click on our rig, come into the action editor because I just still wanna keep our data clean. And we'll call this char underscore one underscore no underscore anim. And then we can select our body again, change back to the shape key editor, char underscore one underscore no underscore SK. So we know that's the shape keys and I'll just copy that. Let's come in here and select our tongue and we will do the same underscore T. Now I'm gonna select it by pressing A and I'm gonna delete. And now I'm gonna import the yes and do the exact same thing. So I've deleted the yes rig now and I'm gonna do Alt H and bring back our main character. From here, I'm gonna come up into the editor type and we're gonna select non-linear animation. So now first up, we've got this here, which is if I come down into the action editor and select shape key editor, we can see that character one hello SK, so shape keys is already selected. Now I don't really care about the armature, so I'm just gonna turn that one off and come down here. Well, actually I'll expand them both and we can see that we've got the SK and the SKT. So we've got, this is the tongue, this is the body. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push down this action. There we go, and there we go. And so we can see that we have this as an action. All right, so we can see that it'll play that animation. Now if I just expand this out to a thousand, what I can do here is I can select this and go Shift D to duplicate. And now it's gonna repeat this action. So for instance, now if I were to press play, you can see he says, hello, nice cheesy smile. And then goes straight into playing that whole, hello, it's Markham Matosh here from Markham 3D. It's a little bit slow. So I'm just gonna add an extra window in here. Let's just pull this one up here and we'll make this window a bit smaller because this is all that we're concerned about here. And we will change the editor type to the video sequencer. And let's go back to frame one. And now I wanna add in those audio clips that we record as well. So click add, sound, and we're gonna start off with the hello. From here, cause our timeline's down the bottom, I'm just gonna change our playback from no sync to AV sync, audio scrubbing. So when I move it backwards and forths, I can hear. 
Well, actually, no, it's going to be slightly annoying. So let's turn off that. And now if I press play. And obviously now that there's no audio, it won't play. So unfortunately we have to, I can't group these two as far as I know of. So I'd actually have to go shift D and duplicate that and bring it all the way over. There we go. And then obviously once it finishes, and then it just goes back into it. So let's just delete that. I'm gonna delete that one. What I can do from here, let's go frame 31. I can go shift A and let's say, uh, not hello, but let's go agree, SK. Let's bring it back to there. And I'm gonna hover down here, shift A, let's add in a sound and our sound will be agreed. So from here, let's bring it back to here and press play. Thanks. I'm glad you do. <laughs> and this is how we can quickly link different types of facial motion capture. And here we can kind of as well start building a scene just by using small grabs um, from actors facial motion capture. And so if we need to change the timing, we only have to just move these blocks here. I can just press a G to move it around and we'll do the same down here. So for instance, if you want to increase the length, length of a shot, then you can just pick everything behind and move it all together. Now you have to remember if there's any animations that you want to keep, but you haven't used in the actual scene, when you save the blend file, close it and reopen it, they're not going to be there. So what you need to do is make sure we come down into here and we select the no SK because we want to keep this one, but we know it's going to be deleted and it's already a fake user. But if this isn't ticked or if it isn't blue, then that information will be removed once you exit the blend file. 